So for the beginning this week, we're going to do a really nice, fun conditioning circuit right when class starts. So they'll start on the first bar, hands on the bar, do a nice pike hold for five or 10 seconds. Then they're gonna come to the second bar and do a chin hold for five or 10 seconds. Then they'll come to the third bar and they'll do a pike front support and shimmy all the way across. If you want, you can even have them go back and forth. Then they'll come to the red barrel and do a handstand. Feet up on the barrel, stacking up their hips nice and tight. Then they will come to the P-bars. They're going to do tuck swings, and it's kind of hard, but they will try their best to finish in a nice plank position. If they don't end up right away in the plank position, push on into it. Beautiful. Then they're going to come to the feet, push off and on the red pink mat a couple of times. Nice straight elbows. Then they will come to the balance beam and they will work on their arabesque with the hula hoop. Make sure they do it nice and slow. Ideally, when they get into the arabesque, they should try to hold it for five to 10 seconds. Nice. Then they're going to come to the balance beam. They'll do some shoulder shrugs. So they'll walk their feet up all the way, try to keep their elbows nice and straight and push their shoulders forwards and back, nice, 10 times. Then they'll come to the blue ball. They'll put their hands on the floor bar and they're just gonna work on holding their plank position. If you want, you can have them lift one leg, nice. Then they're going to come to the trampoline. They'll stand right in the middle of the trampoline and I want them to work on just nice, tight, either straight jumps or tuck jumps in the middle of the trampoline. Either one is fine. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna work on underswing dismounts for this section and on the first station, they're gonna start and they're gonna try to put their feet, so the toes on the top of the pink ball. You might wanna adjust your feet to be lower down on the ball, Maka. Good, so once your feet are placed nice and top of the bar, make sure your legs are not on top of the ball, just your feet, and then you're gonna be able to push the ball all the way up the pink as far as you can and come all the way back. And ideally, they wanna open up their shoulders all the way and get as far as they can. They will need to really engage their core in order to do it. That's the first station, for a second. The second station is their spotted station. They're gonna work on their uh, front support to candlestick. If they are more advanced, you can have them do a one and a half back hip circle. So back hip circle straight into a candlestick, and then you're gonna lower them up and down three times. Jump into front support, make sure your arms are straight, legs together, look at your toes. You're going to keep a tight body and we're going to go into candlestick. So keep those arms straight. I'm going to bring you under the bar, candlestick, look at your toes. Good. Now I'm going to rock you back and forth three times. So one, two, nice and slow, and three. Good. Back to the bar. Now you can Come down slowly, bring your toes to the floor. Good. Yeah. Awesome. As you see. Then, the next station, you're going to put your feet on top of the bar. You're going to lift your hips up all the way. Higher, 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 that's it. And you're going to push the TheraBand all the way down. That might be easy for a lot of kids, so what you can do is wrap the TheraBand a couple of times around to make it a little more difficult, or use the black one, which is the more uh, harder one. The next station over here, you're gonna put your feet on top of the red and then you're gonna lift your hips up all the way into candlestick and you're just gonna bring the little noodle forwards and back. It's not difficult, it's just about learning that body position nice and tight. And those are the four stations for underswing dismount in the back of the room. Okay, so in the front of the room, the less advanced kids, they're gonna work on their handstand forward rolls and their back bend. So over here, they're gonna really focus on keeping their arms straight. And if they keep their arms right against the pink mat, it should be really easy to kick up, keep their arms straight and roll out. Good. On the next uh, station, they're gonna work on getting their shoulders over their arms, which is really a big part of doing those straight handstand forward rolls with straight arms. So they'll work a little bit on folders, shoulders in front of their arms two or three times. And the last one, they're gonna push all the way forward, lift their booty up high and do a forward roll. Nice. So on the next station, they're gonna work on their back bends and you really wanna remind them to stretch straight up to the ceiling so that their knees don't buckle. So they're gonna reach, reach, reach tall, keep reaching, touch the mat, 
and try to rock up if possible. Nice. Okay. And the last station is again a handstand forward roll with straight arms. And this time it's just a little bit more difficult because they're going to go handstand and have a little bit of a lower surface, but they should have no problem standing up from it. So that's the front and back of the room. So for the more advanced group, we're going to try to work on front and back walkovers more. Uh, so, so on the first mat over here for the more advanced group, they're going to do their handstand forward roll with nice straight elbows. And then they're going to work on their back bend, stand up. They're going to make sure to stand at the edge of the mat because otherwise the mat's going to go flying. They're going to stretch up tall to the ceiling, reach for the floor, try to rock forward and stand back up. That is gorgeous. And then they're going to come to the next mat, do the exact same drill as the other kids, where they bring their shoulders over the hands a few times, and then they do their forward roll. If they feel, if you feel like they're doing really great, uh, I think that's fine. On the purple mat, we're gonna break down really nice and slow, standing in front of the mat, stretching nice and tall. And the first thing that you're gonna tell them to do is just swing their arms back. One, swing their arms. Then two, they're gonna sit, little sit, and then jump, bring their arms glued to their ears as far as they can. Last station over here, they're gonna work on their TikTok. So they're going to do a handstand and try to bridge over onto just one foot and hold it. Beautiful. And then they take that nice pointed toe and kick over. Stretch up. Thank you, Malka.